Good morning, Girdle Light Trove. From the WCA TV studio, I'm Paige Lesko alongside Gianna Ferry. And these are your morning announcements. All students have re received an email registration for the CAST Carnival. Please, please register by Thursday, May 10th if you would like to participate. It will be in the afternoon of it will be an afternoon of fun, food, and helping out for our fire. Attention all seniors, if you would like to have your research folder from 10th grade English class, please stop by the library to pick it up. The folder includes some information on the old version of MLA, which is outdated but has other papers that could very much help you with college research. The folders are arranged in alphabetical order by last name on a cart just inside the library entrance. All remaining folders will be thrown away after Friday, May 18th. Attention all sophomores and juniors. It is time to elect class officers for the 2018-2019 school year. If you are interested in running for class president, vice president, secretary, or treasurer for the upcoming school year, please pick up a class officer's candidate form in a requirements and duty sheet either in the 910 or 1112 office in the student waiting area. All forms are due to Ms. Theodore by the end of the day on Tuesday, May 15th. Being elected will allow you to help plan Breakfast with Santa, the winter dance, prom, and graduation, as well as keeping the student body unified. Help make a difference next school year. Do you like spending your time outdoors? Do you like saving the environment? Well, come on down to S110 this afternoon for an informational meeting for the new upcoming green team at 2.30. Be green, join the team. The high school girls soccer team will be hosting a spring informational meeting on Monday, May 21st at 6 p.m. This is for any girl interested in playing soccer next year. See Coach Morrison if you have any questions. IUP is offering a free camp as part of its National Securities Agency Improving and Expanding Cybersecurity Education Grant for the week of June 4th to the 8th. It's designed for middle and high school students and will focus on cybersecurity fundamentals, critical thinking, and oral, oral and written communication skills. Visit iup.edu slash CAEC expansion for more information. Now here's Matt Davis with the weather report. Thanks and good morning, Latrobe. Today will be sunny with a high of 76 and a low of 60. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 70 and a low of 50. And Friday will be sunny with a high of 71 and a low of 51. That's all for the weather. We'll be back after this commercial break. Driving is a privilege, not a right. And it can easily be taken away if you keep breaking the rules. Teenage car accidents happen very frequently. In 2016, it was estimated that 2,082 teens were involved in a fatal car crash. 31% of those crashes were caused by speeding. Most can be prevented with only a few simple but essential rules. First, wear your seatbelt, always. Seatbelts help to prevent the likelihood of injury by nearly 50%. Second, never drink and drive. First of all, it's illegal to drink below the age of 21, and drinking impairs your ability to drive. In 2016, one-fifth of the fatal car crashes were caused by drinking alcohol. Third, never text and drive. If you have a smartphone, there's a setting on your phone that doesn't let you receive text messages while you're driving. And finally, always keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Teenagers love to take friends out on a drive on the weekends, which can bring about many distractions, whether on the road or in the car. If you keep these tips in mind while you are on the road, it will decrease the likelihood of a crash. If you have any more questions regarding teen driver safety, go to pendot.gov or cdc.gov. Remember, if you see someone doing something wrong while on the road, report it. It may not be the popular thing to do, but it could save somebody's life. Seniors, be sure to check the Senior High webpage for all commencement information. The University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg is hosting a College and Career Navigator session on May 18th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Participants will experience college information sessions, academic workshops, lunch with alumni, career assessments, and much more. The event is free and is open to high school juniors and sophomores only. Please stop by the 1112 office for more information. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl in grades 9 through 11 interested in trying out for the golf team in the fall today at 2.30 p.m. in room S207. The meeting will last about 20 minutes. Information concerning summer golfing opportunities, as well as information about tryouts and the 2018 season will be discussed. If you cannot attend, please stop and see Mr. Ria and S207 any day after the meeting. The Greater Lake Trove Hockey Club is hosting their summer tryouts beginning on May 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Center Ice Meeting Room in Delmont. 
varsity and middle school on ice sessions will follow. All players interested in playing on a team next year are required to participate. Registration paperwork and USA Hockey confirmation are required. Contact Mrs. Rossi with any Now here is Alex Bizignani with the sports report. Thanks Paige, and welcome to the Wildcats Sports Report. The girls across team is away tonight at Hempfield. They hope to rise up against the Spartans at 7.30. That's all for your Wildcats Sports Report. Back to you guys. Thanks Alex. Legend Athletics All-Star Cheer is hosting team placement dates May 14th and 16th. Please visit their website, legendallstarcheer.com, for more information. Interested students should plan to attend all placement dates. Laptop collection for all grades start on Tuesday, May 22nd, and will go through Wednesday, May 30th. Please turn all laptop chargers ECAT equipment to H122. Here at Latrobe, certain students act as mentors and leaders to everyone. Here is Connor Mondock with today's Student Spotlight. Adam Wolford is far from your average Joe. He's a hardworking student with a GPA that is well above 4.0. He's a member of the National Honor Society and starts at third base for the varsity baseball team. He's one of the most prepared, organized individuals you will ever meet. Well, when I go home, the first thing I do is my homework, and then I can spend the rest of my night doing whatever I want. Adam is one of the top students in this year's senior class, and his list of accomplishments is what motivates him to be the best student that he can be. Uh, winning the Rensselaer Award it showed me that hard work does pay off. Adam leaves a big impact on his strong support system here at La Trobe. Adam's just a special kid. If it wasn't for his mother Jody and his girlfriend Sarah Blair, I don't know if he would be the academic student he is today. He's just a great kid. What makes Wolf so fun to play with is you just never know what you're going to get out of him. And he gives the hot corner a whole new meaning. Adam was fortunate enough to play on the first state championship baseball team in school history and one moment stuck out above all others on this glorious night at Penn State. Championship team. Definitely diving onto the tarp after the game, and then the whole bus ride home was awesome. Adam is furthering his interest in medicine at Penn State, where he's going to be studying biochemistry. So to win the state championship at his future school is truly something that he will never forget. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Gianna Ferry and Paige Lasco. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for the Code of Conduct for Keystone Exam Test Takers. The Code of Conduct for Test Takers. Do listen to, read, and follow all directions given. Ask questions if you do not understand the directions. Read each question carefully, especially multiple choice items that ask for the best answer. Also, be sure to read any open-ended items and writing prompts carefully before responding. Be careful when marking your answers so that you do not skip spaces or fill in the wrong sections. Make sure to completely fill in the bubble for your answers you select and erase completely any answers you change. Keep your eyes on your own test. Try to answer each test item. Check that you have completed all the test items in the test sections before closing your test booklet or submitting your final responses online. Report any suspected cheating to your teacher or principal. Do not have notes in your possession during the test. Have any unapproved electronic devices in your possession during the test. Note you may have approved calculators if applicable during the test. Share a calculator with others. Use the bubbles in the answer book to either eliminate possible incorrect answers or possible correct answers by making marks in multiple bubbles and erasing. Mark only the bubble for the correct answer you have chosen. Talk with others about questions on the test during or after the test. Students should be assured that they may discuss the testing process or issues of concern with their parents or guardian. Take notes about the test to share with others. Leave an online test session until the session is complete or until instructed to do so. Use social media to post information about the test or other test items.